You're welcome back. This is News File. It's your most authoritative news analysis show. Time is fast spent already, so what I do about my take is to just to give you a peek and then uh, post it on my journalonline.com so you can read it later. And my take today is about what I title the quote-unquote unconstitutionality of the ban on movement or curfew by Asantman or the Mencia Palace. As you know, there have been uh, murmurs around that uh, particularly because these have not gotten onto the mainline media. They are only within social media. People are privately talking about them. And of course, some people are scared to even talk about some of these issues on radio and publicly. So there have been questions about the ban, which saw that shops were closed, the markets closed. And in the night, there was no movement. The whole city was turned into a ghost town, literally, except the exemptions. Only the electricity company, the fire service, and I think the water uh, service, the essentials, were exempted. Now, people have been questioning, and there are people who have been asking, well, if you, if you claim that you're a man or that you have issues about it, you dare step a foot there and uh, hold your constitution and show it to anybody, and you will learn, you'll be taught a lesson. I have done a bit to try to point out and to direct all of us our minds to Article 11 of the 1992 Constitution to show that actually it may not just be lawful but constitutionally sanctioned. Because in Article 11 of the Constitution, which details the hierarchy of laws in this country, the laws include the common law. And the law, the Constitution also defines the common law to include custom. And so uh, rules of customary practice and so on are also laws in Ghana. Of course, not some of them, not all of them. So that will be the situation that applies when you talk about the ban on drumming and noise making in the <coughs> Ghana state, for example. And in the Ashanti region, it may also qualify as something that is actually sanctioned by the Constitution for as long as it's a custom that they are practicing and relates to them they have every right, according to the Constitution, to exercise same. So you may want to draw your minds uh, to that. You read my article later, I'll post it on my jaw online, and then I give you a peek into some development also 2005, 2006, when they issued a fatwa on the place, the area, nobody should discuss an issue, and I dared, and I discussed the issue. I tell you what happened to me in that article. Thank you very much. That will be by way of my take.